Bandini Mountain. Man dares to go where only cows have gone before. Bandini is the word for fertilizer. That was a commercial when I was a little kid. It was a guy in skis on top of a giant mountain of fertilizer. And then he passes out at the end because of the stank. Sounds like a shitty commercial. It was. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid directions of Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram, Instagram and Twitter, Twitter for more juicy content. And you could, uh... You could, uh... And you subscribe could, uh, to the channel if you haven't already. Yeah, Hit do the it. Like What's button? What's you waiting for? Uh, lots of people apparently just watch and don't subscribe. You wild, wild folk. Um, anyway, today we're doing a movie review. Yo. If you did it with me, extra points for you. You get no extra points. You do get extra points if you do it with you me. You lost points. Loosed? Loosed? <laughs> loosed? <laughs> My stool is loosed. Ooh. <laughs> and Dini Mountain. Uh, anyways, uh, today, uh, we, we wa well, not today, I guess, but well, maybe today. I don't know if you, when you watched it. Yeah, you don't it, know when I watched it. But we watched the new film, uh, Badai Du. Uh, the 2022 film came out a month ago in theaters, but it just got to OTT platforms. I don't know why we missed it in theaters. Yeah, I don't know Maybe either. Maybe I just forgot about it. Could be. I don't know. Uh, anyways, but it's uh, directed by... Oh, sorry, yes, forgive the mispronunciation. I'll get the last name more likely than the first. Uh, Hashavadan Kulkarni. Uh, yes. So and, forgive any mispronunciation and then there. It's a, it's a whole ensemble cast, but the main two are going to be Rajkumar Rao, Rao and ba Bumi uh, Pednakar. Yeah, and then there's and a, then a bunch of folks that you've seen throughout in many different things. Most recently, it's the mom from Mirzapur and uh, the madam from Gungabai. Yeah, uh, yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> she's, it's she's sorry, something happened. Had a little the, glitch. The camera, there are technical difficulties, but yes, uh, starring Rajkumar Rao and uh, uh, Bahumi, and then. Uh, a whole bunch of other people outside of them, but they are the main two. Um, They'd be the main peeps. But it's on Netflix now, so if you'd like to go watch it, give it a watch. And then, Rick, your initial thoughts, please. My initial thoughts. This is our 18th film of the year, our 140th Hindi film, and our 225th all-time. So what do you do when you want your society to receive and understand the truth about something that is so incredibly important, but for many of them in that society, the subject is so distasteful, reprehensible, and angering, they wouldn't even darken the door of the theater it was playing. You make but I do. That's what you do. Ingeniously guised in the garments of your everyday Bollywood family film, but I do satisfies all of those family-friendly desires, but forces you, with as loving a touch as a movie-making team can do, into one of the most heartbreaking and gut-wrenching realities in our world today, the treatment toward and rights of the gay community. Everyone, everyone should watch this movie. And Orpo, I love you. And Mark Weber, if you're watching, DM me on Insta. Who are those people that you said? Orpo is a longtime close friend that Indrani talks to every single day. Oh, okay. And uh, he's gay. Uh -huh. And then Mark Weber was a very dear friend of mine in high school who was gay. And I remember when he, um, was there was a, there was a, no, there was a blood drive and oh. he, he wasn't allowed to, he came, yeah. he came to class crying and I just asked him what's wrong. And he said, they wouldn't let me cause I told him I was gay. And that's here in America. Uh, and unfortunately in certain parts of the country that is still like Florida. Um, <laughs> my brother is there who is also gay, uh, and worked <laughs> Worked or works for Disney. Yeah. 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 Anyways. Uh, yeah. Um, I love this movie. Yep. Um, I teared up in this movie. <laughs> <laughs> I did not cry, but I, I felt the welling in my eyes at a few points in this film. There you go. That doesn't... <laughs> I actually had the thought. I didn't say it to Indrani, but I thought... There was, there was a point where I thought... Uh, I, even, I didn't say the words, I bet he cried. But I did say to Indrani at one point, I said, this is going to really hit Corbin yeah. hard. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it was actually wonderful. I love this film. I think this film is absolutely fantastic. It gives you mini vibes with, mm -hmm. obviously, that was dealing with a different subject matter. This one is even more so, I think, for the mass audience. Yeah. Even though that's my most favorite part about yeah, it. Yeah, the fact that it's genius. Even though, at times, I do wish it could go farther than... Of course. Uh, but I, I unfortunately have to understand... 
why they did it. Yep. Uh, even though I don't want to. Right. Um, but I do. And right. I think they did a phenomenal job at every single level of this film. And we'll get into so much of it. But since it's new, just go watch it. That's all. That's all you Please. need to know is that it's a fantastic film. Please You're watch it. You're going to enjoy yourself. Have your family watch gather. Watch it with your whole family. They, who knows how that's going to be. Mm-hmm. But I think everybody should watch it. I do. I agree. And I actually... My cousin is here, and she is a member of the LGBTQ community. Um, and this was her first Indian film ever. Oh, that's freaking! This was her. And, and, and what I did didn't, she think? I didn't know. Obviously, we had that's no. So crazy. I did not plan for her to come and to watch this. I didn't do that. It was just the next film we were happened to watch. That's so great. Um, and so, but yeah, she loved. She loved. It. We it actually we st- had to stop about forty five minutes in um, to go to uh, go somewhere. So you had an uh, interval. Me, me and my wife. Um, and she was like, and Leland was asleep, and she, she was here to watch Leland. Um, and she was like, do you guys mind if I finish it? I'm like, no, you will wait for us. <laughs> we will watch this together. But yeah, she really, really enjoyed it. But okay, let's just let's just get into everything. Let's well, there's get... a non-spoiler section right now. Um, and no. Then we'll, no, we're just going to go straight to the Go spoilers? watch it. Okay. That's the non-spoiler review. There you go. Go I watch agree. this film. <laughs> you okay. do not need more than that. That's true. You really don't. You don't need to hear us say anything. It will. You will enjoy it. It will be hard-hitting. And everything in it is top notch. There you go. I don't know what else you need. Exactly. <laughs> go watch it and come back. Uh, the, the minute issues I might have with it, you don't really need to know going in. It's not no, going to. Not in, at all. It's not going to inhibit your experience. Not at all. In the slightest. Nope. But anyways, let's start with. Uh, I say it every single time, but Rajkumar Rao, he's he's so phenomenal. Yep, all the time. He's so phenomenal. He's one of the, if not one of, the, like if not the most versatile actor. In India, but I mean, even in all around the world. I think if you gave him, and I saw this when at the opening of this thing, and I really, I mean this, I think if you gave him scripts that were like "There Will Be Blood" and mm-hmm. uh, "Gangs of New York," mm-hmm. I think he would shock the world. Oh yeah, well, and we've seen that. I think he would shock the world. We've seen it in in uh, Omerta. We've seen it in Gangs. We've seen it in. He's an incredible actor. I think a couple other things. Uh, we said uh, Kai Poche. He obviously flexed. It was different, not like a, a psycho or anything like that. Yeah, like, there will be blood. Um, but he's so good, and he has, like I said, I call him Young Pankaj essentially. <laughs> yeah, because he brings the same lovability that Pankaj can. Yeah, but in the same way Pankaj can, he can do comedy and, and he be, can be the a best badass. at it, and he could be the scariest person on the block. Exactly, just uh, like Pankaj. In, in, in Pankaj, do quirky comedy. Uh, yeah, and his choices as well. Are very similar in terms of I, I don't know if it, I'm assuming it's important to him to do these style of stories because there's not very many in Indian cinema that and he can so he far. can choose what he wants to do for sure. So oh yeah, I, I guaranteed this is but the near fact and that near to his heart. what the two I mean I, we've probably seen what less than five LGBTQ mm-hmm. films mm-hmm. in all of India so far I'd say, and he's been in two of them. two of them uh, that I can think of. Yeah, right off the top of my head, of course, because they were so memorable. Yeah, um, uh, and obviously so different. So I'm assuming. He likes to, obviously he looks for characters that are unique and interesting, but I think he also wants to tell a story. And and also this film, no, I'll get to that in a minute. But yeah, Raj Kumar did so good in this. He brought the quirkiness. He also brought the sensitivity, yeah. the lovability. Yeah. He won his freaking ripped in yeah, this. I know, he really, he and there really worked so hard. there so many little quirks in this film that he gave this character that are not explained. Don't need to be. But I love that. I know. He makes fully fleshed out characters. Mm -hmm. He really does. And the other thing he does, because so many of you stupid babies who are actors or love acting will ask me questions. You'll send me DMs. Or when I go live on Instagram, you'll ask me questions about what makes good acting. And one of the most important things about an actor, and it's hard to find it a lot of the time because so often when someone's talking, you're only watching the actor talking. The POV is typically them. But oftentimes in this, you could see him listening. And that's one of the traits of great actors is they're great listeners. It looks like they're hearing the words for the first time. And he always, always looks like, Pankaj does it too, most of the great actors we refer to. Yeah. He, he's, he always looks like he's hearing what you're saying for the very first time. Yeah, that, that one scene when his parents came over and he was trying to get her to go make tea. Hmm. And there wasn't something said for like at least 30 seconds on screen. And they were kind of just... Glancing back and forth, trying to talk, yeah. and nothing was said. Yeah. It was absolutely hilarious. Yep. <laughs> okay, now let's talk about... Hold on. Uh, oh, you have more to say about yeah, Rajkumar? Yeah, Rajkumar. Oh, about okay. Rajkumar. I think he brings so much to the character. He's the one that made... I mean, there was a couple moments that made me well up at the end, but his moment with his mother there at the end. On the roof? On the roof. 
where it was I, I literally saw a man break down and 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 when he uh the I hadn't when I started to cry and it never stopped <laughs> towards the end <laughs> yeah <laughs> when I started to cry and I just kept crying all the way through and at one point and Androni who was watching with me she sat next to me and she she looked at me and she was crying and I <clears throat> and I just said why can't they just be accepted? And mm -hmm. she put her head on my shoulder and we cried together. It's when he's, I love the fact that he couldn't tell Sumi mm -hmm. when he first called. Mm -hmm. It wasn't this, was hey, I told them. It was still in him. And the phone call hangs up and then calls back. And when he gets her and he finally says it, when he said, it breaks down. I told them mm -hmm. and breaks down. And they both did it. Done. And yeah, and she's, that's why I can't wait to talk about it. Her. It was a great moment between great moment. the two of them, uh, that moment. And then there was many moments towards the end, like with the, with the pride parade. Oh. And like the sign, the signs made me well up. Just because I, obviously since I'm a dad, it makes me think like the fact that these kids, uh, a lot of them, their parents don't accept them for who they are. And the fact that that dad was there saying, I love my gay son. That's huge. I'm like. That yeah, that That's that, that gets me as well. Yeah. Uh, and so all those moments. But the one, one the last thing on Raj Kumar, his little quirk he gave to this character. I don't know if you noticed it. Anytime he opened a door, or if he turned on a light switch, he always did it three times. I did not pick up on you that. You didn't at all. see that? No. It wasn't explained ever. So like when he flipped a light switch, he flipped it one, two, one, two, one. And when he opened a door, every single time. Mm -hmm. I, I did not pick up every on that. single time he yeah. did anything with an open or a turn on. He's so he's like a very OCD, OCD. guy. Uh, this was all that, and then there's a couple of references that I'm glad we're so in the know now in terms of Indian cinema. Like when he was like, "I wanted to be Mr. India," and she's like, "You can't. You're not invisible." Mm. <laughs> yeah. Which, I like that reference. I, I, I think it's great. Yep. Uh, and so there's so many great moments, and he's. I, I'm hoping one day we'll get to talk to the man. Oh my goodness. Um, we'll, yeah, of course. And yeah, the, the other thing I love that he did. I loved when he put on the mask and he did that. I laughed so hard. It was a release laugh because I was yep. so sad yep. when he just went. Yep. <laughs> I said, that is so good. Yeah. So good. Let's talk about uh, uh, Boomy. Boomy. Go ahead. Um, I, I just, what a beautiful person to have in this role. I can't imagine anyone else in this role. Did she remind you of Freya? No, you know who she reminded me of? She reminds me of Freya. She reminds me of Priyanka. No, it didn't remind me of See, Franco. that's exactly what and Androni said too, and I said, You don't see the spatial the the actual mathematical spatial relationship of her eyes, nose, chin and face, mm -hmm. and it wasn't all the time. There were only certain moments, like the point she had her helmet on, she was on the bike. I'm like, You don't see a similarity? I will say the, the her capacity as an actor, especially when it was needed most, which is at the very the very last half hour, I believed I here's what I believed all of the time. The most important thing at the beginning was I believed the romances and that was the sexiest blood donation ever oh. caught on camera. <laughs> yeah, they did a great job. That was great. Yeah. I love the flirting between the they two did of them. A good, uh, we'll talk about the writing. Yeah, but I, I I, really believed that she had, had really attracted to and fell in love with her girlfriend. Chum, uh, uh, Chum, yeah, Chum Durang, who, did a who we'll talk about yeah, her yeah. too. Uh, and I, I really believed everything they were going through. I believed she was a gay person. I believed that they were dealing with this situation. And I really believed, I, I also felt they did a very good job. They, you knew they had to give it the happy ending kind of thing, but I loved that they didn't give it the full throttle. I, I didn't want to see the whole family rallying. I loved that a couple people at the end, when they went to the adoption, thing mm -hmm. got up and left when they found out they were going to adopt because that is the reality you are not going to have everyone in your family accept you in any way shape or form it's going to stay divisive like that yeah. and we'll get into the story itself but. Yeah, but i thought she did a phenomenal phenomenal job um she i would like to see a lot more because i think this yes. is her first thing she's seen a great her. actor i think that is this the it first is thing? that i can remember if she's in something else then she shape shifts because i don't remember her in anything else that we've she's ever toilet, seen we've didn't... seen her in trailers i'm sure She's in toilet with the Akshay. Akshay. Um, do, do, but do, 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 do. I'm trying to. I mean, it says enough that you're holding your own co-starring with Rajkumar Rao. Oh uh, no, she was in the um, Sushant oh. military one. But she must have had a small role. Was she the girlfriend? 
She's not billed. Uh, Indu. I don't remember who that is. Okay. Is, is that the main girl? It may have been his girlfriend. And I think from what I remember of this film, and I'm sorry for forgetting that you were in this film. Yeah. Uh, because I do remember liking the lead, if if, if she was the lead that, yeah. that, that I'm thinking of in that film. Yeah. Because we really enjoyed that film. A lot. I need to go back and watch a review if it was so, her. Yeah. But if that is, that's not surprising that she was this good. More work for her. In this. More uh, work for her. I thought she was phenomenal in this. Um, she gave a bunch of great moments in there. I thought it was all very, very subtle in this film uh, but she brought it at the moments that she needed to and like obviously when she was telling her family which was a heartbreaking scene Ugh. to watch the mom when being she's a, talking to her dad to watch her with her mom and the mom was being an asshole and the brother who I just wanted to murder right there and then when she said I, th I, I thought you would at least yeah. have my back yep oh god uh, but I thought that whole scene was great where she was talking at her dad agreed uh, and it was just her really he was just sitting there and he couldn't really give her anything because yep. that's probably what this dad would have done. Yep. And, 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 and in shock. Uh, and just, he, he loves his daughter, but he, mm -hmm. you know, the culture around him says he needs to be, not accept this, Yep. obviously. Um, but the, what she did there, just on that chair, I thought was so great. And then she had another great moment with Rajkumar on the phone. Which, which the great thing about that, again, for you lovers of acting, you know they weren't talking on the phone, right? Yeah, they might have been. I doubt it. They probably had dead phones in their hands. Because they're not. in two completely different locations. But I, they'd still be on the phone. Not necessarily. I would love to know. I would say they were on the phone. Cause I, My most, suspicion is most, they weren't. Most actors I know will... Um, like, obviously, they'll want to be actually talking to somebody. So that actor will obviously... Maybe, obviously, not in person, right in front of them. But off screen, they'll already have the phone ready for them to be there and so they can actually have well, that, a dialogue. If it wasn't Rajkumar, if there was somebody just doing a reading, like a reader, that's even worse. I'd rather have it dead silent than have a reader giving me a dead reading yeah. in my ear. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I agree. She did a so good. And what this film did so well, I mean, there's a lot of stuff they did so well, but the writing of this film yep. was so good. And um, even though there's at moments where I would have liked more, but you know, like I said, I unfortunately have to understand that the Indian culture and they wanted a mass appeal. Exactly. I, I get it. They did. I feel like they did everything I get it. Everything they could but I still don't for like that audience. That. Uh, I don't like having to accept other people's ignorance. I know. I, I, I know. But, but, you, but I get you it. want the message to be heard. I understand. I know. I just don't like to understand. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah. Um, what they did with the, the weaving of this story and uh, one it was hilarious. It was a full on rom-com. Remind me of um, that rom-com we watched at the beginning uh, of February, uh, Barfi, the the one, like it brought a lot of that fun, happy Oh, feeling, yeah, 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 yeah. That, that vibe. Yeah. Um, but the fact that it um, brought that deep subject matter, which we don't see a lot, but it also just played it like it was a rom-com. Right. It didn't play it like it was a gay rom-com. It played it like Thankfully. it was a rom-com, which Hollywood was very, very... Uh, um, um, guilty of doing this type of stuff like making the gay role the very stereotypical stuff like that and it was a gay movie right or, as opposed to now obviously all industries hopefully because people are more um i don't want i don't even know the word uh now but the fact that it's this was literally you could have just put two straight people in this of course and it would have been the exact same thing of course because they just made it a love story exactly that these people just happen to be gay exactly and it was wonderful <laughs> and the fact that there was so many love stories going on yeah and i love the musical numbers they gave us that yeah. weren't the i love that they gave us the ho the holiday like the wedding song but they also gave us your stereotypical rom-com uh you know uh, uh what are they called when you uh, when you put all the images together and it's a, a uh, montage. A montage, yeah. Yeah, and they put the montage together and they did it for both of them. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to, I wanted them to kiss, but I also thought, you know what? Don't do it. Make it, make it the stereotypical thing. Show everybody what they're used to seeing with heterosexual couples in these kinds of films, and let them see that this is how these people feel, even though it's with someone of the same gender. Yeah. I thought it was brilliant. Yeah. That was brilliant. I would have rather them kiss. Hey, you would have loved uh, to. You, you would have preferred this to have been Brokeback Mountain. You know, I, I know. I wanted it to be the, what it is, but I also could give two shits about people's sentiments, as you guys know. Uh, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I thought it, I did really enjoy the... Because I loved each love story. I was invested in everybody's love. Everybody's. With 
the heartbreaking Raj Kumar and the first white oh, guy that he loved and how much of an asshole that when guy was. When he to? did the bail me out thing, I w- I, out loud I went, no. I knew it was coming. And then, once again, Raj Kumar being amazing. How heartbroken he was like after he slapped that him because he was so him. mad. Yeah. But then he was like, oh my God, no, no, right, no. Uh, <laughs> and he tried to save it and he did a phenomenal, phenomenal. job. Um, but then I was invested in that love story. I was invested in uh, her love story. Absolutely. With, uh, with sorry, a beautiful, the, um, what a great job. Um, sorry, I'm we're, on the wrong we're, Sorry, page. we're on the wrong page. We're looking and want to give everybody the right, proper credit. We're on Boomi's page. Uh, um, a chum Durang. Yeah, I loved their relationship. She did a phenomenal did a great job. job. Was she in Put the Lock? Where? Shut up. Where did... Was she a small part in Put Had to have been. Maybe I'm just in... Maybe she was... I think maybe she worked in the news office. Maybe. I think she worked in the news office where... Um... Regardless. She anyway. Did, she did a phenomenal job. I believed their love story, and I was invested in it. And then once Raj Kumar switched to the other guy, who also did a phenomenal job. Uh, and uh, I, sorry. I rewound, because Indrani, she had missed it. We were eating, and she had looked at her food. And I rewound it so she could see it when... She realizes, when Boomi's character realizes that she's not going to have to come back to get any more samples or tests or anything, and she, you can tell she likes this girl, and she leaves, and she just turns around one more time, and she just goes like this, and then they go back to Boomi's character. That look on her face, mm-hmm. I went back so that Androni could see it. I said, this is so cute. Yes. They did a phenomenal job at just making it a, a rom-com that... In multiple rom-coms. So obviously yeah. you, just had, you had Raj Kumar and, um, and Boomi's relationship that obviously you were invested in just them as friends and them uh, like being there for each other. Yeah, and rooting for them and, and being so sad they have to do what they have to do. Yeah, <sighs> but also this film incorporated like four different love stories that you that were I thought fleshed out and, mm-hmm. and, and very authentic. Really, and also built in the family relationship and I thought everybody in the family did a phenomenal job. Agreed. Uh, and you as believed always. It. it was a very similar family vibe just not as murdery of the love hostel. <laughs> yeah, not as murdery. Not well, as murdery. Well put, Corbin. But the fact that well put sh- the the grandma was the matriarch and she was kind of controlling yeah. everything, uh, and and telling everybody kind of what to do. Yeah, it, she Sheba from uh, uh, Mirzapur, Sheba mm-hmm. Chada. Uh, she as well as uh, I forgot the actress's name who I referenced that we've we had first seen her in Gungabai, her, the madam. Uh, Seema. Uh, yeah, Sima. They, but especially Sheba, and we saw her in Barfi as well. Yeah, that's true. Uh, uh, the the other Barfi, uh, had many moments of really subtle comedy, mm-hmm. side eye comedy, just looking over here and looking over here, mm-hmm. really quick, ha- funny comedy. It's had a lot of comedy in it, mm-hmm. a ton. Yeah, like laugh out loud moments. Yes, of like when she just brought the shit. <laughs> <laughs> a thing. It's a, that's like a half a kilo of shit. <laughs> <laughs> she brought the whole thing in. Uh, and then obviously there was uh, word plays. Word play. Yep. And then Raj Kumar's character I thought was just hilarious. He's constantly um, afraid he's going to get found out. Uh-huh. And, and it, like he gets a cousin. Oh, she's not my cousin. Of course she's not her cousin. It's my cousin. <laughs> <laughs> and I thought it was really. Um, the way that was filmed by obviously the cinematographer and the director himself of like when the mom came over and Raj Kumar walks in and they've switched to a different, more intense camera angle. And yes. It was just a pan and you're like, what? Yes. Just, and then what you just saw happened? Boomy walk out. The which... other great choice, other great choice was that moment of not just that dead pan, but utter silence. Mm-hmm. That was brilliant it was we've just changed gears now mm-hmm. and now we're in a very deep really i feel like i said it in the paragraph they did a great job and scoring as well mm-hmm. of taking us into the dark underbelly of what is a really awful evil treatment of people mm-hmm. and wrapping it up and ser- serving this to you in a palatable way really difficult to do yeah absolutely um and the there was, I don't, some of the issues I had, it was not really issues. I don't think they knew how to end this film. It seemed like there was I knew endings. we were going to talk about the ending. I know, I, liked I knew it. we were going to talk I about thought, the ending. Like, it was surprising because I liked every ending. Like in terms you of even like the one year later job? The, is that the, uh, the adoption? Yeah. Yeah, I liked the, what they did in the scene. Okay, great. I Good. Honestly, I didn't even see 
them say it was one year later. Oh, I just thought it was recent, right. like a couple okay. weeks later. Um, but there was like four moments in this film that they went full black, and I was like, okay, we're going to end here. I thought it was ending at the parade. It could have ended at the parade. Yep. It could have ended I was waiting for credits. on the rooftop. Yep. It could have ended when he told her. Yep. Uh, and, then, and so I don't think they knew when to end it. And they were like, we've got to incorporate no, this. And so I, the reason I think they do mm. is because, and I, I agree, because I, I was disappointed. When it faded at the, at the parade, I was ready for credits. When it came up, I went, oh, no, don't ruin the ending. Mm -hmm. Why are you back? I really was like, why are you yeah. back? But they they had to touch on cuz i i don't remember them doing it they had to touch on the words mm -hmm. and saying that we're not legally able to adopt yeah and touch on that reality because they were talking about it throughout but they got back to the subject okay now we're out we obviously can't be married but what are we going to do because we want to adopt and we can't like i'm a single woman they would let me do that but the fact that i met i'm lesbian i'm disqualified now legally I thought that was important. Yeah, it was. And yeah. like I said, I didn't mind any of the endings. I just, I was like, there was like four of them. <laughs> and so I thought yeah. that was, but I loved the parade. I, I liked the ending where obviously the dad brought, who's like, the child should be with his mother's. Uh, and that moment with them. And then the fact that Raj Kumar's character, he was like, I'm not asking you to be the dad. I just want you, I just kind of want you with me. Yeah, and I wonder, so I wonder sweet. if that was a moment where maybe it had been, and I, I'm just a speculation, but these are really great moments where you get to see behind the scenes. I wonder if it was scripted for her dad to maybe be get up and be closer to her, and and it could have been like the man playing her dad said, I, I feel like it would be better for me if I stayed and we maintained this distance. What do you think? Because that was a conscious choice. Mm -hmm. And I felt it was a really responsible, realistic choice in that you see he's grown and he's changed and he's supporting, but he's still, he's still not all there yet. Just by placing him in the chair, it's like he's there, but he's not there. And I... I I, that's another little yeah. thing I love. And I loved all the songs. I thought that the, the wedding song was great. And too. also the fact that they incorporated a vine. The, yeah, no, I, no, I no, love no. that. Yeah. No, 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 like, no. They no. just incorporate that? <laughs> and I loved it. And the, the little quirky comedy stuff going on. Yeah. Like, we're going to do a kick, and oops, oh, I hit her in the nose. Oh, and then the next few minutes later, she's there with her nose bandaged up yeah. on you, son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so I thought all oh, that was great. I thought it was a fairly enjoyable film. I think one of my favorites of the year. Absolutely. Um, um, I think it's such an enjoyable film. Um, it might show up in my dummy noms, which is strange, because too often comedies are overlooked. Are overlooked. Yeah. But this is good enough that I think Absolutely. it merits talk about in regard to some of the best performances yeah. of the year. Also, uh, gay people are people. Just want everybody to know that. And also, just because homosexuality has been decriminalized does not mean you are done. They need. They deserve to be. Ma get married, adopt children, and live their fucking life without you butting in. Sorry. I agree. I'm not. But I just <laughs> I need to say my piece because whenever I bring up stuff like this, people are like it's not de it's decriminalized. That's not enough. Great movie. And <laughs> and and the the whatever needs to be done in the courts to change the laws. Um, there's no. Uh, there's so many kids that need homes. Mm-hmm. And there's no reason why they shouldn't be allowed to be in a home where the home is going to be providing what they need economically and giving them relational love. And that doesn't need to be a consideration on there as to whether or not the two people in the home are heterosexual. As long as the child has a roof and has love and has provision, does anything else matter? Nope. No, and that law needs to be changed. Absolutely. Uh, anyways, let us know what you thought about this film, uh, and, uh... And if you didn't like it, you're wrong! Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> <You> idiots! <laughs>